Hey, so you probably just subscribed and you're clicking on the uh, quick start to see how to get going. So in this video, I'm not going to cover everything because there's a lot to cover, but we're going to cover the points just to get you going really quickly. So the first thing I want to talk about is setting up your PayPal and Stripe. So when you're logged in, uh, go to the PayPal and credit card settings. You can choose either or. So for now, just click on PayPal. It actually takes you to the whole PayPal and Stripe thing. With the PayPal, what you want to do is go ahead and put in your, uh, your email address. And then you want to make sure you read the directions. Make sure you do the IPN settings. This basically enables you to get notifications, enables the customer to get downloads. And also, this auto return uh, enables on-page downloads. So not only does your customer get an email containing the download link, but they also get an uh, immediate page for download. Because email is not entirely... Uh, there's a lot that can happen with email. They can go to spam or they could just not get it. So by enabling the auto return and all of these features, they get to be able to download immediately um, on a web page in addition to the email that they get. So make sure you follow all of this. If you want to accept credit cards as well, uh, we recommend you start an account with Stripe. And when you create an account, you'll get the live key. You'll get this in the Stripe admin panel, not this panel, but within the Stripe admin panel. Um, we have to check out, though we do not recommend to check out because they are kind of, um, they're moving away from uh, digital so not recommended authorize you could do authorize although they do charge a little more per month for um for transaction fees so my recommendation would be paypal and stripe as a combo or you can just stick with paypal your choice the uh, next thing i'm going to cover is how to upload beats you probably want to upload right away so go to the upload and then you have a couple options here. You can, uh, for most people, you're going to upload beats. But for uh, artists, maybe you want to do singles and albums instead. Uh, maybe you want to upload discounted. But I think you'll have these, these options here. So let's go ahead and do the uploads, beats, and manage. I already have a populated set here. But if I want to add new beats, click on this, add new beats. And then you can either drag and drop uh, a whole bunch of beats on here or browse for um, for the media and up, it uploads everything for you. Now, um, I'll create another video and, and kind of show you in depth and how to do this, but everything's kind of, uh, it's pretty much straightforward um, after this, but I'll create another one. This is more of a quick start to get you going. Once you have all your beats uploaded and, you know, tagged and, um, you added prices and everything. Uh, you want to grab your embed code. And the embed codes are right here. All right, so here's a bunch of embed codes. The one that most people are going to use is the new player for Hydra. Hydra is the new player that, uh, this is the Hydra player. And this is the brand new one that, um, that we just created. And this is probably the best one for you to use. It's a lot faster. Um, I mean, I can go on and on uh, with, uh, I can go on and on about this player. It's really, really <laughs> pretty much the best in the business right now. So you probably want to use the Hydra player. It's the newest. It has the, uh, it's faster than all the other players. Um, so definitely use the Hydra player. The way you get that is go back to your um, embed codes and grab this code and then just paste it um, on your website. The M7 is an older player. Um, it's no longer supported, so we're probably going to end up removing this at some point. Uh, the Micron is a um, is a flash based player. Um, this is good if you have a sound click or um, something that requires a flash based. This is the uh, the mobile version of of the Hydra. And then M7, which is no longer supported. So definitely do the Hydra desktop and the Hydra, Hydra mobile if you want to be completely up to date with our new players. Then we also have our settings. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to go in depth to each one. Um, 
just because there's a lot to talk about for each. I'll make a, a separate video just for the settings itself. Um, you can choose your default currency, auto download, auto play count, um, add a voice tag, which we don't recommend. Um, that's kind of a fast way of adding a voice tag to your uh, player. But there's a lot of tools out there that can separate the voice tag from the MP3. Um, so we definitely recommend burning in the voice tag in with the beat and then um, adding that to your demo um, player. Auto populate. This one's pretty um, important. Basically, you can either upload one beat per license or have upload one beat and cover all the licenses all at once. Uh, terms of service, email setup, download page customization, social media, website URL, uh, mobile notifications, uh, default album art. If you just want one album art for each, uh, for all of the beats at the same time, and extra settings. So go ahead and dive into all these settings and you'll see a lot of customization. We also have a view. If you went with the pro account and you want your own site, we have a website, uh, kind of a builder thing, then the view would be the place. And then you want to click on general settings to get started with your own view player. If you want to transfer your domain, go ahead to go ahead and go to view general settings. And then you want to do the uh, transfer domain. Make sure that so for example, if you have your domain through GoDaddy, contact GoDaddy and tell them to switch your name service to NS1 soundgen.com and ns2.soundgen.com. You can either call them or if you can log into GoDaddy's or whatever website you got your domain from, then make sure to there. I'm sure there's a section called name servers. Uh, you can manually change these to these name servers. Once you're done with that, then go ahead and put in the URL that you want. And then if you want to port the email address, you can, this is completely optional. Most people use their Gmail account and then hit apply. Usually it takes about 24, 48 hours for us to update your request. And then your domain will transfer over to the view website seamlessly. If you want to dress up your Hydra player, say you want to change a color scheme, what you do is you go to player setup, go to Hydra, and you'll see a, a slew of, of things to do, uh, change a the spectrum color, uh, theme colors, uh, header images. I'll do a separate video uh, for all of this stuff, but that's another important uh, setup there. Another important tab is beat and music tools. Here you have a slew of other stuff. You can create your own genres, create your own similar artist moods, and these show up on the um, on the uh, the side filters for the Hydra player. So you can create. Uh, your own instruments, your own moods, uh, and you do that all right here. The Twitter player um, is the player that, that's shown on Twitter. Set that up. Aweber and MailChimp, coupon codes, bulk discounts, discounts, manager contracts, make an offer setup. That's if you want to do the make offer here on the player. Email list, deliver beats. Um, if you want to uh, deliver beats to a uh, customer um, directly, where was I? Okay. Facebook player and then the Facebook pixel. So really there's a lot to cover here, but I think I did enough to get you going in the right direction. All right, guys, uh, make sure that you subscribe to us on YouTube and you will find other videos to help you out with your account. All right, guys. Thanks.